Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here. Day 41 of Operation Watchtower. Now is the 15th of September, 1942. Uh, before we get started here, I want to say a quick thank you to the Edified Gamer for the uh, plug in the episode that he put up. Uh, I want to say it was, by the time this airs, it'll be last week. But really do appreciate the uh, coverage there and... If you haven't checked out Edified Gamer's full Pacific campaign as a Japanese, you really should. It's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. Uh, on to the business of war. Uh, right here around Russell, we've got a... It says five ships. So I've redirected the Dauntlesses with their Wildcat Escort up to check that out. Uh, we've got the Enterprise Battle Group in the area. Uh, Enterprise has... A certain amount of aircraft there we go 16 Avengers her Dauntlesses and um, Wildcats are out right now at some point she's gonna have to go back and rearm uh, down here we've got a sub and we've got some Mitchells coming in to check that out uh, so let's uh, start the clock see who gets there first I can almost guarantee it's not gonna be the Mitchells so Bring them out like that. Oh, I think we just lost our Dauntlesses. <laughs> we did. I don't know why they're heading back. Uh, we do have uh, Mariners with their torpedoes, so if that's a supply convoy, we could hit the uh, supply ships. So let's see what we can see here. Uh, Dauntlesses, Mariners, Wildcats, everyone's here. All right. I know the uh, air combat in this game can be, at times, not the most exciting thing to watch, but uh, it is a big part of the game, so it is going to be included. Look at that. Reship Convoy. Oh my god, hello. A wolf pack. We have ourselves a wolf pack, guys. Isn't that exciting? Definitely not going to do anything with the... Uh... With the Mariners. I'm just going to send all these guys in on the attack right now. Get them down. Eh, that's probably not going to do any good. Good chance we're not even going to hit them, so let's try this, but you never know. Maybe someone will get lucky, and they are steaming straight for land, so they may uh, beach themselves. I'm going to even send the Wildcats in to do some uh, strafing. Why not? Probably a bit of a rude awakening for our uh, submarine friends here. With our uh, pilots kind of appearing right above their faces. There we go, everyone's moving in on the attack. Let's see if anything actually comes of this. say if anyone's going to do any damage, it's going to be the Wildcats. Alright, we got some damage on this one. Looks like we probably got some damage on this one over here. Uh, this one's... Doesn't look like they're making any attempt to dive at all. Uh, they don't have any bombs. 
That's interesting. Alright. Now let's let them complete their run before we target someone else. I guess strafing with the uh, Nautiluses for the time being is the way to go. Alright, Wildcats. <coughs> let's have you form up. Looks like the other two have dived, so... Let's just have everybody... That was dumb. Here, watch. Select everybody. Target. Number two. And attack. I don't think it worked. That did. Yeah, we lost him. Alright, well, let's check the damages. Heavy, critical, and moderate. Let's uh, stay in the area for now and see if we can come up with something. Oh, they're still strafing. Shallow waters. Click, click, click. He's going down. I guess our Dauntlesses didn't have bombs, even though it said that they did. We may actually get a sinking out of this one. He is on the bottom. So, sliding down the hill. It's not the best place for a submarine to be. Props have, have they stopped, or are they still going? No, they're still going, a little bit. Our mariners are moving in with their torpedoes. Wonder if they're gonna drop on anything. We're just crashing the land. Let's uh have everybody climb. Oh, they're dropping their torpedoes, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. That'd be funny if we actually sunk a sub. Gonna climb there, Mariner? Oh, he's back. Okay. Well, let's get some Dauntlesses. Get these guys in on the attack. Let's grab our Wildcats. He's going to come up to the surface. He's going to have to deal with the uh, deal with our planes this guy could probably even attack him I don't think he wants to though I'll leave him alone where were the other two went what the damages are here. Moderate, none. Heavy, moderate, heavy, and none. Huh? We got, uh, I was trying to get this guy to attack the, uh, the sub. Fratricide, buddy. It's worth the way to go. Silly. See, there's his friend down there. Our wildcats are coming from all over the place. The rest of the Dauntlesses are leaving. He's barely moving. Or if we could see his friends out there. I 
guess not. Alright, speed up time a little bit. Can't. Okay. What do we have here? Come on, Wildcats. There we go. Shots coming in from all directions, secondary explosions. Go back. It's not looking too shiny here. still going to strafe him even though he's underwater and heading straight to the bottom. Critical and moderate. Now oh, here he comes again. Seems to be having problems keeping himself on the surface. There he goes. comes back up again. He's just trying to get out of here. Oh no. Oh, they're leaving. I thought they were getting shot down. Okay. Well, they're, they're fixing the damage while they're underwater, so. Three heavily damaged subs right out here. Let's uh, get the Enterprise pulled back a little bit. Still within range, though. Don't really want the uh, cruisers to blunder across the trio of them. I think that might go bad. Keep them a little further north here. All right. And interesting stuff do we have here? One ship. Can't launch aircraft, all right. Go with some torpedoes and you up. Walrus has a uh, time to cover him. Task Force One with our Royal Australian Navy Anzacs. They can go up and check it out too. Send them around this way. Of course, we lost them. Six, yeah. Where might you be? 
Let's get you up and in. Pretty sure we have control of this right here. Got a lot of troops here. What are you doing? You're heading over with supplies. Uh, we can redirect them over to Guadalcanal with their troops. Um, at some point, we can merge them up. But I am going to drop off the supplies here. This guy's got to get out of here. Wonder what this could be. Uh oh. Well, let's pull them back then. Mariners. You lost your chance, I think. Or if we get into combat with our uh, transport convoy here. Do they have any weapons? That's a joke. Kind of curious why they would uh, have uh, have you sitting right above there. See what they might be. Oh, in the dead of night too. Look at that. I don't think we're gonna see anything. Just have him spin in a circle for a minute. Wow. Not seeing anything there. They are messing around up there, so. All right. <coughs> Task Force 29. Unload your cargo. See what we have to work with down here. 4,000, 25,000. All right, so we'll send you down to get some troops. To head for Guadalcanal. Uh, yeah. It's about what I want to do there. Okay. Set you up on a patrol pattern like this. Got a mariner hanging out here. Yeah, head back. Might get back in time for morning. Uh, Enterprise. Set up your patrol pattern. Like this. North Carolina Battle Group. Let's rearm. Let's take a look here. North Carolina secondary guns are out of action, but... Or big guns are not, so Boise is pretty beat up. At some point we're gonna have to uh do some reorganizing here. Replace some of our damaged ships, get them into the shipyard to get fixed. But for now, North Carolina can definitely hold her own. Do something like that. Just patrol pattern for her. Air operations are available. I'm going to let my scouts uh, do their thing. And if anything happens to pop up, we will be sure to report back. Okay, so they've sent their next force after us. Uh, we do have Dauntlesses with their Wildcats. I did launch a couple of uh, Catalinas with torpedoes after them. And something I just noticed is... Uh, we apparently control Guadalcanal now. Because uh, they list the aircraft, but we just can't launch them. Um, North Carolina's heading up. If we can do a do some damage on that carrier, take the carrier out, uh, possibly damage the battleship as well. Um, 
Well, we could uh, definitely talk about another surface engagement. Because the last one went pretty good. If I don't say so myself. Two 1,000 pound bombs. We're going to get them up. Um, once we make our strike, I can redirect the Wildcats to escort them in. But first things first, let's... Uh, Let's hit him. All right. I think I'm just going to leave it as is. Let the, uh, the AI decide who is going to be attacking who here. But we do have our Catalinas with their torpedoes. Let's get them down them in and see where the enemy happens to be. Definitely not over by the Catalinas. There they are right there. But let's choose wisely here. Out oh, of escort carrier. Another battleship. Let's see. Kinda wondering what the uh the loadout is on this escort carrier here I think that's who that is there Chitose Let's see what you have Chitose uh roofs Jake's and Pete's It's honestly nothing really to worry about maybe the roofs Oh, maybe the Pete's too, or Jake's. But. Okay, Dauntlesses. Let's get you up to altitude. I think we're just going to have them come out like this. that high, buddy. I don't think I did it with the last group here. Yeah. Alright, we've spotted them. There's their escorts. Wildcats are moving in. Pick our targets. Oh, there's a lot of them. Quite a lot of them. Let's uh, sign some targets for our wildcats here. Probably their entire uh, their entire air wing. Probably should have done this first, huh? Light, but there we go. I'm just picking it random here. We'll see how we do. Bringing them into groups of three. I've got lots of pressure on me now. I got Noah Nimitz in the background uh, eating his 
turkey and vegetable. So if I don't perform, I know we're going to have a severe issue with our commander-in-chief here. Let's see. I'm going to have the first group second group. We're going to have three groups moving in on the uh, whoops. Oh, fuck it. We'll do four groups. And we'll have not sure why they formed up into a single group here. I have you three target this and you three target number five and you three target number five as well all right let's see how we do where are you going Where are the f Oh my god, they're targeting a plane. It won't let me uh, change targets. One of them got shot down, that's why. Cats are coming into play here, taking on their fighter floats or their roofs. Thoughtless yeah. are moving in. Forget about our Catalinas out here. Let's get them sped up a little bit. We're never going to get out there in time. Let's see how we did with the attack. If this goes as good as the other air attack, then I'm absolutely going to bring the North Carolina in on it. anti-aircraft fire. I don't even think they're getting their bombs off. Alright, there's a good hit. Someone else just took a hit. Cruiser. Looks like that supply ship got hit pretty good too. Losing a lot of Dauntlesses in this. Yeah, I don't think this is the uh, results I was looking for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Dauntless is downed. He still got his bombs. Wonder how many of them still have their bombs. 
I don't think any of these guys do, but this one out here, for some reason, decided to... He'd rather be a fighter pilot. Let's get our wildcats uh, organized. Put them up on our... Over here. Head back. Hit the deck. Catalinas are coming in. That looks like a beastie thing. Oh, beefy, beefy, beefy is the word I want. can't believe I'm getting so excited about a cargo ship. I don't think I've ever actually seen one of these before, though. Moderate damage, moderate damage, minor damage. We're going after number three. All right, our wildcats. Target that. Target that ship right there. And in the opposite direction. Twelve thousand yards out still. Good job, Wildcats. We got our Dauntless moving in on the uh, sunk ship. Let's pick a different target for you. Alright, Wildcats. Catalina's change of plans, buddies. Let's see if this guy gets his bomb off. <coughs> Excuse me. He did. And he got shot down in the process and missed. magazine cargo explosions. Alright, Wildcats, let's get you out of here for now. Lime. Alright, looks like our uh, Catalinas did drop. She's moving pretty fast. She may actually, uh... Seems like they dropped kind of far in front of her. Probably because I was had her going so fast, or had them going so fast. 
might work out. We didn't lose any Catalinas either. Uh, they're gonna miss. Come on, come on. One. We got one hit. Okay, wild cats. That's a little, a little in the middle of everything there. See, guess we could uh, redirect them. Actually, you know what? They're in a good position to hit this destroyer here. I guess we could try and strafe the, uh... Actually, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Need your plans, guys. Not sure if this is going to make a difference or not, but... Like we're causing some fires. That's a lot of wildcats. Where's that cargo ship? The thing didn't sink, or did it? Slow them down a little bit. Actually, pause. Nice if we could cause some type of uh, explosion on her. Yeah. See what the damages are here. Number five. Critical and moderate. Catalinas are... Oh, we're still moving in with one of our groups here. We could actually put this uh, ship down. That would be something.
Still critical and moderate. Just got this one cargo ship. That's the only cargo ship that's left. Uh, Wildcats. Alright, I'm going to pause the recording here so I can arrange this strike a little better. See what we can do here. Wow. Okay. That worked out pretty good. Send these guys in for him. I'm not sure if, uh, <coughs> excuse me, sending a second strike is even worth it. We did cause some damage to the uh, destroyer over there, so we're going to hit him again while we're up there. Uh, these wildcats... Send them in for a strike on the cargo ship. Maybe the destroyer will get in the way and catch some uh, unintended flack there. Alright. Let's target the second one, have them go in. I think I just selected the wrong group here. Did. Alright, let's see how we do with this cargo ship. Oh, that's not a... What well, is a destroyer? One of the more modern destroyers, I think. Maybe it's not. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. But we are hitting them instead of the uh, instead of the target there. <laughs> All right, so 36, 31, and 32. Warm up. Everybody else. I don't think he's going to last very much longer, but if these guys get so far out. Where the hell are you going? Oh, they're out of ammo. Like we ran our guys right out of ammo. All right, well, let's uh, have some of these guys patrol up and around. See if the fires on any of these ships develop. Let's check a report here. 
Critical, critical, moderate, none, critical, heavy, critical, none. All right. Give it a little bit of time, see if they sink. All right, so there's the report. We sunk two cargo ships. The heavy cruiser was scuttled, and so was a destroyer. Uh, the battleship has no damage, but we are going to be going up against a light carrier. I believe that's a... I want to say a heavy cruiser. And some destroyers. So I'd say those guys did their job fairly well. So we'll have them return to base. And in this mix, we've got 10 Wildcats left. With 123 miles of... All right, let's get the Avengers in there. All right, so our uh, Avengers were on their way up to here to strike this group but we came across something down here so we're gonna investigate that and uh, see what we can do Kingfisher where are you you're getting attacked okay that's fine or Kingfisher so dismissive that's fine whatever it's just a Kingfisher and we can just do that so all right, Avengers, let's see what we can f see. Whoop. And... Oh, why? What do we have? We have a Congo. Whoa. Hello, we have a carrier. A light. Heavy. Two heavies. It's looking like a... Yeah, two heavies, two lights. Two destroyers, one battleship. Number four. We're just going right in on the attack. Oh, hello. It could be a pain in the ass to deal with. We're gonna light this carrier up. Especially with Enterprise right there. That could be a potential problem. And we don't have any air cover. So, hope they decided to uh, take the afternoon off here on September 16th. We did get our command points back, so let me slide uh, Noah Nimitz a little closer here so he can watch offer his his commentary what do you think Noah what do you think buddy not gonna talk through the mic say hi oh, just gonna reach for that what do you think about our attack did they drop there they go let's watch the uh, watch the action from down here. job. Wow, you're pushing off me. Not so good a job. Is that it? No, we got our lone Avenger here, and I think that was a 
cargo explosion we had. Maybe not. Oh, still got some more coming in. They don't have any fighter cover up, so. Alright, Avengers. You did good, you did good. Oh, she's sinking. She is sinking. Warm up. And get out. That's fine, you did good. Whoops. Oh no. I just ordered him to attack. Warm up. And leave. That's a carrier down. One strike with Avengers. How many did we lose? We lost one. Alright. Anyway, I'm going to call this episode to a close on a good note here. Uh, we got that carrier down, but unfortunately... Uh, all our assets that we have are not in this area and all we have is the uh, Enterprise so the Enterprise is not going to get into a surface action with these guys not with the Congo not with those heavy cruisers and definitely not with that light cruiser with their two million torpedoes so anyway, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you have any thoughts, tips, or advice, leave those in the comment section below. If you'd like to follow along through the rest of this campaign of ours, hit the subscribe. Wouldn't mind having you. I do have plans for War on the Sea in the future of this channel. So, on behalf of Admiral Noah Nimitz, J76NY, saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day. Say goodbye, Noah.